Hi guys, Jay here and back at Star Trek Online after a while, probably a week, two weeks I think it's been since his Overwatch video in time. I'm back with Kasumi Morrison with Age of Discovery. Okay, that's a bit of a weird background, I'm not sure you can see that. But that's a bit odd. Oh, I think that was running about. I'm um, back with Kasumi Morrison and game with Age of Discovery with a new uniform. She's got the 2410 uniform, maybe a year off in storyline wise, but this is the uniform she's got now. We have upgraded her stuff. She's far point has got some new torpedoes, quantum torpedoes. And she's got the Universal Console ionized gas from the um, Constitution class special sea store version. Uh, all the catches are still the same. All got new uniforms though. Um, skills I probably showed last time. Traits. Station still got the same stuff, and I think. Yeah, today we're doing the mission, uh, S Secret Orders, which says your crew travels into a dangerous, into the dangerous briar patch to discover what Ambassador Bavat is hiding. A contact is Commander Burgess. Guess hell him. Commander Burgess, Starfleet Intelligence. There's something I'd like you to look into. It could change the course of the war in our favor. We have intel suggesting that the Klingons are operating a secret weapons facility in the Hiromi Cluster. We also believe the base is under the command of Ambassador Bavat, a controversial figure in Klingon politics. I'd like you to get to the truth of the matter, and soon. To that end, I'm sending one of my top agents to join you on the mission. I think you'll find Lieutenant Van Zyl to be a very capable officer. Don't hesitate to seek her counsel in the field. Proceed to the Briar Patch and find out what the Klingons are up to. If there are any weapons there, you are to deactivate or destroy them. And should you encounter the Ambassador, do bring him in. I'd like a word. Okay, so let's go to the Briar Patch in the Battle Quadrant to investigate Klingon activity there and destroy any weapons you find. We will get the received rewards, experience part expertise, new armor, Dilithian, and some consoles. Engineering, console science, or tactical. Not sure what I choose yet, but that's that. Admiral Quinn says you're the right officer for this job. Thank you, Commander. Also, a little update for the channel. Busy this month with work. With this is all work we've got now. So, videos we will be restricted to one time a week, hopefully Mondays. Even this one's going to be a bit late, but I think she'll be back on Mondays. Let's go to the Briar Patch. See you guys there. Okay, so we have to go to the bride pack system. Let's go. Which is over here near the riser sister system. So just enter into the riser system. You can see the USS Yokai. Yeah, there's a riser sector. The mission's in here, and I think so. Yeah, you can see the design of the ship. It's changed again. Maybe a bit more sleeker. I think. didn't really like too much of the blue coming out on the deflector but I like the purplish impulse engine so it looked nicer like, and the in storyline like I said another refit again I can and Xander Lord has logged on okay Captain Xander right, I don't know what his name is now not which character is going by now on Twitter Okay, that's cool. Looking. Okay, warning. Starfleet has deemed this area of space to be a level six hazard to starship navigation. Hazards include high levels of metaphoric or metaphasic radiation, proxies of metron gas, supernova fragments, and false vacuum fracturings. Space uh, ship speed uh, speed is restricted to one third impulse to avoid damage to impulse engine. So let's begin the secret orders. And USS Odyssey over there. Let's begin. Lieutenant Carla is Van Zyl. Thanks for having me along, Lieutenant Commander. I'm looking forward to solving this little mystery with you and your crew. Thank you. Let me just make sure that. You see the specs, right now. I'm going so far. As we do, Lieutenant. 
Right, to business. Long range sensors are picking up several Klingon battle groups. They appear to be placing self replicating disruptors cannon turrets throughout this region of space. If we don't take out these cannons now, this entire asteroid belt will be bristled with Klingon defenses. Thank you for the suggestion. Anything else? Well, the competition, a composition of the nebula will make maneuvering at high speeds impossible. In addition, the wire patch contains pockets of metro and gas. The gas is highly reactive to weapon fire and could be dangerous. Starfleet recommends we keep at least four kilometers away from any of the glass clouds. This could keep us safely out of range if one of them happens to ignite. Okay, let's keep a distance of four kilometers. Got it. However. The gas can also be used as a weapon. Do you remember the Riker manoeuvre? Well, my character would have learnt it through the time from Daniels. If we detonate the pockets of gas when the Klingons are close to them, they will do a lot of a lot of work for us, okay. Okay, Lieutenant Commander, as you're aware the Metron clouds in the system require us to maintain low impulse speed and risk damage to the ship, okay. You sound like you have an idea. I do, a little on the radical side, let's hear it. I think we've modified the wild side collectors to filter out only a percentage of the metron particles. Then we could use excess energy to go for the full impulse without the risk of the ship. I'm not sure what this percentage might be though. Too risky, we're here to start with guidelines on speed for this mission. Because we haven't got, we're not science ability. Does look cool though, go through. Let's just hope that we can get out of here before we hit anything, really. Hmm. Let's see if we can get through here. I know there will be some patrols like there, the Raptor escorts over there. Come on, I'll use that. Ready. Come on. Ship should take it. Should really take this. Well, that's a bit glitchy. I want to should take it. Oh, we have it slightly. If I get a bit closer, then we can take that one out. Okay, just take this out. Come on. Should we go on soon? Now, where's that Raptor escort? Let's just get a bit closer so he doesn't come back not won't be a risk to us anymore you know I could regret this mission decision I've never done that before, normally. Damn. oh crap Let's get out of here quick Where are they? There they are. Come on. Take his fancy shots, and then I got this tacked. <laughs> Was that? I don't know if that was just some gas or a shot. When they evasive maneuvers should get a bit quicker again. Do I take it out? 
Sensors are okay. Bands are okay. Sensors are picking up energy signa signatures near the Alod asteroid. Look like defense turrets guarding a facility on the asteroid's surface. Judging by the layout I'm reading here, there is a there is a KDF military research station built into the asteroid. I think it's worth investigating. Our Klingon friends up to some mischief in that base. I wager. Okay, let's go. Looks like that until we got plans out. Plans out the killing was definitely part of something here. Yeah, there are. Okay, so we're close now. Probably just just been fast forwarding because it's just taking so long, long day, I remember. So we should be close now. This guy should help us protect, destroy stuff. At least I know. I think it's now that we're here. And we're still kind of far. Really, I would just screw the engines and just go full speed, but it's the game. <laughs> Excellent, the defences have been neutralised, we should be able to proceed. With your permission, I join the away team. I believe they're standing by waiting for your orders. Okay, let's transport to the Klingon base and investigate what they've been doing. Beam to the station. And see, everyone's got the new uniforms. Can't wait for more additions to the crew. Which should be more the characters you see from the tutorial. Lieutenant Kyla's Vanzel. Heads up, I'm reading several Klingons in the area, but the tricode are also picking up two additional last times ahead. Hostages, perhaps. Yep. Here's everyone. Ooh. Oh, I saw some glowing here. Nope, didn't see nothing. No, that was glowing. Breach the door. Let's go. Oh, we went the wrong way. I thought this looked seemed a bit different. Uh oh. Where's my gun not hosted? Hosted for. But that's all. Okay, reach the door. Bang. Can't see though. Oh, crap. Hopefully, I can be good at this. I'm upgrading the weapons though, so. Which is a bit of a problem. Unless these weapons upgrade with you, which I'll have, I have no clue. If you guys can put it in the comments. That's everyone. Nope, that's yep, there is. Take this equipment, take that. Did I actually get something out of that? No, I didn't. 
a bit rusty. I haven't played the game in. Actually, how can it be rusty? It's only been a week since I played it. Is that everything? Yep. Dr. Cav Cava? Cava? I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but ask fast. I'm going to the shuttle bay and getting out of here. How did you get here? I'm an independent researcher. Word got out that an interested party was paying a lot of latinum for simple projects. It sounded like a good deal. Then I got here, found out the Klingons were my new employers, and the good deal was work or die. I should have known better. There used to be about 20 of us working on various projects. As people completed their work, they would disappear. I heard one of the Klingons say that my time was up. You got here just in time. What do you know about Ambassador Bavat? Bavat is the one running this whole operation. I overheard him say he's keeping the Klingon Empire strong by prolonging the war with the Federation. He thinks that unless the Klingons have an enemy on which to focus their energies, they'll fight amongst themselves and tear the Empire apart. I kind of hope he's right. Do you know his whole plan? He hasn't let much information slip, but I know that he found some sort of device abandoned in deep space. He wants to use it in an attack so horrible, the people of the Federation will demand that Starfleet take revenge. The fighting will continue for years. That's not good. Uh, what are you going to do now? I'm heading for the hangar, finding the first ship that will fly and getting out of here. I'm done working for Klingons. Some of them are honorable, but Bavat cannot be trusted. His desire for war with the Federation has blinded him. Uh, what do you know about the weapons here? The Klingons are planning something big. They have been forcing us to design weapons. They want improved disruptors and torpedoes for their ships. But some of their demands have been very specific. Specific? How so? They want a weapon that can punch through solid neutronium, which is impossible. And they keep talking about torpedoes with payloads big enough to destroy a small uh, planet. Uh-oh. Well, any of, were any of their... Well, were any of you successful in designing these weapons? I can't speak today. There are prototypes of some of the new weapons in the laboratory here, as well as schematics on the base computers. If I were you, I'd destroy the prototypes and the schematics. Neither side needs that kind of destructive power. Okay, rescue both scientists and then destroy the experiment weapons in the main laboratory. Okay, you can go. Oh, did that one go? Oh, there she is. And she, there she goes. Nizian. Dr. Everly. Thank you. These Klingons have had me designing weapons for them at Disruptor Point. The scientists who finished their research are taken away. We are the only two left. There you can go. Why is she not voiced? Both scientists are safe, thankfully. I suggest we locate those weapons now. We can set up explosive charges and remotely detonate them when we return to the ship. Good idea. Let's find those weapons. Let's go. Data download. Reaching another door. Can't see though. Nope, they're beamed up. Okay. What loot we get here? So far, Kasumi Mars is probably slightly my favourite character. Well, not my favourite, but I say I think. Well, I like the character so far. Different storyline. I haven't gone through the main storyline so many times. That's why. And great, seven not responding. Oh, oh, that was a big lag. Wow, rubber banded him. Hopefully I won't crash because this will be a, a third, my third crash. Oh great. Can't remember get cuts. Ooh. Now I've got an option. Beach door. Oh that's not good. Do 
she's so laggy now. She's not good at all. Okay. Plant spatial charges here in this one. I'm plant. Okay, that one goes there. Oh, some loot behind me. Maybe. If we can actually get there. Okay, let's go. Oh, some more loot over here. Did we kill these guys over here as well? Oh, this is getting bad. Let's plant this one. This time I have to actually press the button. Normally I just press F and it gets near it and comes up, but I'm not risking it. it just won't work properly. For these guys, I can actually get there. Remind me that I don't know what really where it came from that like real life um, lag video because of this. Can I die? Yeah. Come on, take the item. Yeah, plant it. Come on. Enemy on I can't even kill him. Come on. Come on, okay, just plant this one. Nothing behind. Please oh no, nope. still still there. Oh come on. I don't know what's up with my internet today, or just the game acting up. Not sure if it's one of those two. Okay, there's a computer call nearby. Let's see if we can upload its contents to your ship computer. The data we can find may give us insight into how the Klingons were planning to use these weapons. We may even find hints of Bravat's ultimate plan. Okay, hopefully they upgraded the computer on our ship. Is it kind of old? And yeah, there's a new screen more. Come on. Come on, let's get these guys down. Point four when I to start doing more DB art stuff as well, I just didn't make more of a background stuff, which is a bit random. I stopped with that experimental weapon research. Okay, it's good. Desmond! We have the data. Primitive analysis indicates hold on, something's happening. Sensors are picking up killing one vessels leaving this facility. We could really use your back on the bridge, Lieutenant Commander. Okay, let's return to the ship. Face to face at last with one of the Federation's greatest officers. I've read much about you. Though I'm not as impressed as our intelligence agents are. After all, you were rather easily led to this system by a few well-placed pieces of bait. I've had pet targs with more sense. Well, I think this Vulture Battle class crews up in that's the ship that has the weapons on it. Continue. I have everything I need from the research station, but I must say, humiliating a Federation war criminal is as the humans say, an added bonus. <laughs> Try to stop us if you must. However, I won't think poorly of you if you walk back to Earth with your tail between your legs, there to whimper at your master's feet. You have lost this day. 
victory is mine and mine alone. Kapla! Okay, stop the filling ships. Okay, tactical, what's the situation? Never mind by that. Look, Commander, look, Commander. I pronounce. We have more immediate concerns. I'm reading several Klingons, uh, Kling seven Klingon ships on sensors. Look like they're attempting to escape the system. Look like they're trying to use the asteroid belt to mask their warp's core. Signatures. If we hurry, we should be able to intercept them. Stop the Klingon ships before they can escape this mental weapon. Let's go. Come on. Okay, that nation wasn't that great, but still, it must have destroyed the place. Okay, let's go. Hopefully, we need close to the Vulture Battle Cruiser. If the game starts to stop lagging on me. Oh, they came quick, quickly back. Come on. Got them. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I believe that was it. Oh no, is that one more? I have no clue. Did I not destroy all of them? There must be more. Okay, there's a raptor escort. Come on. Come on, there he goes. Come on, close there. What's it was the left side? I oh, know it is working. Come on. Come on, shields. Yeah, yeah, I finally stopped with that. Excellent work, Lieutenant Commander. But that won't be getting his hands on those experimental weapons. And we've recovered a lot of its ex actionable intel from that base. The transmitted transmitted the data we pulled from the computer core to Starfleet Intelligence. He's hoping it gives us the edge we need to bring to the end of this end to this conflict once and for all. Okay, let's depart the system. Okay, so after our crash again, it's held by just report. I've read the after action report filed by Lieutenant Van Ziel. Pity we weren't able to apprehend Vavat, but I'm glad we shot that weapons facility down. Nicely done. As for that weapons research the Klingons were conducting, Starfleet has some of our best people analyzing the data you recovered. We'll find out what Bavot and his people were doing there soon enough. There's a lot more intel to analyze, and I suspect we'll be working again soon. Klingons don't tend to think small, and we'll need the best we can get to deal with Bavot and his... And his machine, machine animals, things, pronounce that. So we're getting experience, experience, experience points, expertise, body armor, 
to live from or on one of these three consoles which I will check what I need. I'll probably get the tactical and I might replay this mission behind the scenes to get the engineering protocol or engineering console which collect the reward. Admiral Congratulations Lieutenant Oh okay. Lieutenant Farah. Hello Lieutenant Commander. I heard you a recent accomplishment and would start to congratulate you. You're exactly the sort of captain stuff it needs as an example of young officers here at the Academy. Please join me at Earth Space Dock. Okay, I look forward to speaking to you in person. So I'll meet him later and I got a new officer as well. We'll be joining a new file for a new Andorian Pakasurian. Um I have no clue yet. We'll come back to this next time. Or on behind the scenes. Um yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Saw a bit of lag in this, and I think I now got new commander points and experience, which will be do behind the scenes all in the next episode. Well, like again, hope you guys enjoyed the mission. See you next week.